How's it going everyone? This is Tom. We're back for another video. This is iOS 6 Cydia Picks episode 11. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at two tweaks uh, and also a really cool theme which is one of my favourite themes uh, on the kind of Cydia store. So let's just jump straight in. The theme we're taking a look at is called Too Simple Theme and uh, I absolutely love it. It's definitely one of my favourite themes uh, out there on Cydia. There's a ton of detail. It's kind of inspired by iOS 7, the whole flat user interface idea but there's it's just very well done. He's done a great job with the design in this theme. One of the main things I hate uh, about theming on my device is uh, when there's kind of inconsistency and there's icons that haven't been themed. And there's almost none of that with Too Simple. Uh, and they've been extremely good with updating and stuff like that. Uh, thoroughly recommended. And I believe it's only about $1 in Cydia, so definitely worth a download. Moving on to some tweaks now, the first one I want to cover is Smudge. Now Smudge is kind of a very simple jailbreak tweak, but it's something I really like and it's kind of a bit underrated. Uh, it basically gives you the option to uh, have a blur effect above your app switcher, so you invoke your app switcher and you kind of get this Gaussian blur above. Uh, it doesn't really work with Zephyr as you can see right here, but it just kind of adds a nice little effect to the app switcher, it of course works uh, in any screen, so uh, whether what page you're on, you can obviously close out all your applications. It's the same functionality exactly, uh, but I'm really enjoying Smudge. It's kind of added a, an extra dimension to the app switcher, and I really like uh, the way it looks. And also you can do things like just go into the settings application, and of course uh, it blurs in there as well. So it does it on any screen that you're invoking the app switcher within. So that's Smudge available for free in Cydia. Next up we have Livewire Pro, which if I unlock my device, you get a very cool unlock animation. Uh, Livewire, just the free version, uh, just kind of gave you one simple or a few simple unlock animations, but this one, the Pro version, has an absolute ton. So you can go into the animation screen, you can speed it up uh, and slow it down, but you get a uh, elevator, you get zoom and fade, we'll try out zoom and fade just here. Uh, just unlock my device, you get a zoom in of the screen behind and a... Uh, fade in as well. Also just let's just try this as well. This is shrink and fade uh, on the other end of the spectrum. Slide to unlock and you get that effect. Let's try whirlpool. Lock my device. My lock button is playing up at the moment which is great news. Uh, let's just unlock there. Slide to unlock and you get a kind of whirlpool effect. Some of them are a little bit more classy. I Personally, I like the Vault one, which is included uh, in the three, uh, sorry, the Elevator one, which is included for free. Uh, but the Vault is the default, and you, then you get Random, which just shuffles through them all as well. So very pleased with Livewire Pro, I would definitely recommend this one as well. Guys, that pretty much wraps this one up. If you have enjoyed or have any suggestions for tweaks and stuff like that, drop them in the comments down below. As I said, if you've enjoyed, give this video a like. It really does help out my channel and keeps me uh, motivated to pump out these videos for you guys. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, drop them in the comment section down below as well. But otherwise, guys, I will catch you in the next video.